Hey guys, how you doing today? I am Sergio with Takeover Clock and today we are going to be taking a look and we're going to talk about different uh, pop filters for your microphone. Here we got the normal style, the regular style that you see everywhere. Everyone uses this one here. We also got the kind of ice cream cone is what I call it. Don't like it that much. And we also got the metal mesh. This one is uh, a lot expensive. Well, back in the day when I bought it, it was expensive than this one here. Also, I got some new designs that I found on eBay. Uh, very cool ones. Here we got this little one. Uh, this one here was, what, uh, $3, I believe? $3.99 each. So I bought two of them, and I'm going to show you how they connect. And they do a very, very good job. Also, this is the newest model that I found and I think it looks amazing. I love it. Actually, PewDiePie uses this one here. If I'm not wrong, I think he uses this one. I've seen on his videos, his latest videos. Um, I am always looking to find, you know, cool new things. And uh, this one comes all the way from China. I think it was $2.99. A very good price to be honest very good price and you know it, it looks really really cool this one here is a condenser microphone why do you need pop filters for your condenser microphone well uh, you want to avoid you know that P the P that P I'm exaggerating to the microphone right now I am using uh, to record this video I am using the Rode NT1A one of my favorite microphones of all time at a very good price and it's a condenser microphone now if you find this little one here on eBay or Amazon I wouldn't recommend this one here because well when I put it up next to the microphone sometimes when it's like so all right when it's like that sometimes the air waves go to the side and it makes the distortion i've noticed that i use them uh, already a couple of times i have had this one for about probably eight months now you know the air goes you know the the waves go to the side and it doesn't really protect the diaphragm it's good though i mean it's good it, it like if you talk directly to it it's really good but it doesn't stop the waves from going to the side like through here and through here because the you know the the width the radius of it is not too big in comparison with you know a big pop filter you got you know everything is being protected but what i like of this new design that came out i don't know if it just came out or i just discover it but what i like about it is that you can put it in two ways as you can see here you can uh this is the front of the microphone this is the front of it you can do it like so and put it right up against the plastic okay and it gives plenty of room it gives enough room for the diaphragm to be you know not to be blocked by anything which is cool and it covers all the way around and one thing that i like the most about it is that well you don't have to hang it from nowhere else on your arm stand most pop filters like this one here they got this hook that attaches to the microphone stand or whatever you attach it to and sometimes when you move the microphone it's very annoying because it moves on a different way and you always have to be adjusting it if your microphone is not you know set up on a place Both of these pop filters do the same thing. And honestly, guys, throughout the years, I have always been trying to find better pop filters. Sometimes I have even used a sock <laughs> on, 
honestly guys i have used towels i have used socks i have used many different things to you know avoid these long long things i think these are going to go to history uh the microphones that i really don't use bat filters with it's a dynamic microphone this one is the sennheiser e835 this one is a classic to me the sound quality is great it's amazing microphone it's a dynamic xlr as well this one here it's the audio technica i forgot the model but it's a wireless microphone audio technica i got it uh man 2000 2008 I got it in 2008. Yeah, guys, before I used to be into the music and that kind of thing, recording studios and live, you know, performances and stuff. And we already talked about this one, uh, this pop filter. A lot of YouTubers use it. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Holy shit. Oh! They don't want to deal with stuff like this. They don't want to deal with, you know, stuff like this that you see in uh, professional recording studios, which this is the way to go. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, the performance is not great. The output quality is not great. It's great. The sound quality is simply the same. But my favorite so far till today, it's this little one right here. Hear that? And it, you know, it, it protects the, you know, the sound waves, the airwaves going to the microphone very, very good. And you get a very good quality, like I said, guys. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope that this video helped you a little bit. I'm going to leave the link to all of these products in the description. But by far, this is my favorite one.